Today, we are in lesson 7.2, Compound Angles. We are going to prove what is called by the compound angles or addition formulas for sines, cosines and tangents. We start with what is sines of A plus B and what is cosines of A plus B in terms of the sines and cosines of this angle separately. We can prove by using this diagram here. I have a right triangle OCD and on top of that I have another right triangle OAC. The first triangles have an angle A down here. The second triangles have an angle B and the second triangle also have a hypotenuse of 1. Before we start, let's just refresh your mind on the definitions of sines and cosines. The cosines of theta is defined as x over r and sines of theta is y over r. I just solve for these two equations for x and y. So for x, I will have r multiplied with cos theta. And for y, I will have r multiplied with sin theta. Therefore, I can figure out that y is equivalent to r sine theta and x is equivalent to r cos theta. This is useful if we know the angles and the hypotenuse, then this gives us the other two sides of the triangles. So let's start. Look at the triangles OAC. We have the sine B equivalent to AC over 1. We solve for AC. We will have sine of B multiplied with 1. So you have the sine of B. So your AC is sine of B. And for cosine of B equivalent to BC over 1. So we solve for your BC is equivalent to cosine of B times 1. So you have the cosine of B. So your BC here is cosine of B. Now we look at the triangle OCD. We have the sine of A equivalent to CD over cosine of B. So we solve for your CD. So you have the CD as sine of A multiply with cosines of B. And finally, we have the cos cosines of A equivalent to OD over cosines of B. So, your OD will be cosines of A multiply with cosines of B. So, your OD is cosines of A multiply with cosines of B. We have to make this diagram a little bit more complicated. I'm going to draw a line from the point A, reach the bottom here and add a right angle at the point E. And then I draw another line here which meets the line at a right angle at the point F and intersect at this vertex point C. We notice that the line FC is parallel to the line OD. Therefore, we will have an alternate interior angles here. I label it as A. And these four angles is right triangles. Therefore, the angle here will be 90 degrees minus A. And we will notice that the angle here is also A. To find the size of AF and FC, we apply the basic definitions of cosines and sines. So, 
so look at the triangles a f c we will have the cosines of a equivalence to a f over sines of b we saw for a f so you will have the a f as sines of b cosines of a So, we apply the same process for sin A equivalent to Fc over sin B. So, we solve for Fc. So, we will have Fc as sin B multiplied with sin A. So, your Fc is sin B multiplied with sin A. Okay, well, we are actually just about ready to give our proof now. Look at the triangles OAE. Here is the angle of A plus B. So, we will have the sines of A plus B equivalent to AE over 1. Since your AE equivalent to AF plus FE, so we will have Sines of B cosines of A plus sines of A multiplied with cosines of B. We just rearrange the orders of multiplications. So we have proved our first formulas of sines of A plus B. We proceed to cosines of A plus B. So we will have OE over 1 since we know that your OE will be OD minus ED so you will have the cosines of A multiplied with cosines of B minus with sines of B multiplied with sines of A we do the same process we rearrange the orders of the multiplications and you will have the additions formulas for cosines of A plus B when the angle of B equivalent to minus B the addition formulas for sines will become sines of A plus minus B equivalent to sines A multiplied with cosines of minus B plus sines of minus B multiplied with cosines of A. So we just have to take note of this. The cosines of minus B is equivalent to cosines of B and the sines of minus B equivalent to minus sines B. So, take note of positive and negative here. So, therefore, we will have the addition formulas of sines of A minus B is equivalent to sines of A multiplied with cosines of B minus with sines of B multiplied with cosines of A. So, similar, we do for cosines of a plus minus B here so we will have the cosines of A cosines of minus B minus with cosines of A sines of minus B so we have to take note of this so this will be equivalent to cosines of B and this one will be equivalent to minus sines of B so be careful of minus and minus here so we will have the addition formulas for cosines of A minus B is equivalent to cosines of A cosines of B plus the sines of A multiplied with sines of B. To prove the addition formulas of tangents, we start from the definitions of tangents in terms of sines over cosines. So we will have tangents of A plus B is equivalent to sines of A plus B divided by cosines of A plus B. We apply the addition formula for sines and cosines and we divide both numerator and denominators with cosines of A multiplied with cosines of B as this. And we do simplifications. This will get tangents A, and for this, 
cos A cos A we simplify we will have the for this one we will have the tangent B here so this one we may simplify and for this we will have the tangent A and for this side we will have the tangent B so therefore we have the tangent A plus tangent B divided by 1 minus tangent A tangent B when the angle B equal to minus B so we have the tangents of A plus minus B equivalent to sines of A plus minus B divided by cos of A plus minus B. We apply the addition formulas for sines and cosines. And we need to take note of cos of minus B equivalent to cos B and this equivalent to cos B sines of minus b equivalent to negative sines b sines of minus b equal to negative sines b and if we divide both numerator and denominators because a cos b we simplify so here you will get tangents a so this one you will get tangents B. This one you simplify here. Tangents A. And here is tangents B. Therefore, we will have the tangents of A minus B equivalent to tangent A minus tangents B divided by 1 plus tangents A multiplied with tangents B. Finally, we have just proven all the compound angles or addition formulas for sines, cosines and tangents. Hope you enjoyed this video.